Zeppo's Vox, and you are watching my tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro 11 on nesting projects within Sony Vegas Pro. And I'm talking about Sony Vegas Pro 13, not Sony Vegas Pro 11. Now, I accidentally opened this in Pro 12. I'm just throwing all the version numbers out here. But here I've created a ridiculous and nonsensical sample project, which includes some still images, a Photoshop file overlay, a couple different types of video, an MP3 sound file. You know, just throwing it all in there to create a pretty big sample project. So nesting is useful if you have really complicated projects you want to embed as a full video within another video, and you don't want to have to render it out. For example, my outro cards at the end of my videos and hopefully at the end of this one that has the couple different videos you can click on and the Photoshop background. I usually do that in Premiere as a separate sequence or in Vegas I would do that as just its own project file and then import that project file back into Vegas. That way you don't have to have 500 different tracks within your project file to deal with. Vegas does not like that very well. So instead you can make one big giant pro or you know a couple different projects and nest them within one project. There are a couple different ways to go about this. What you're seeing now is me exporting a essentially an archive file, um, Vegas file, which has all of the source footage with it. This is one way you could do it, or you could simply save your Veg file to a specific location and then import that later. But we are opening up our second test project which just has one video. In this project I want to embed or nest my big complicated video that I don't want to have to recreate. So we're going to open up this one video. It just has a single clip. We want to add our video say kind of about at the end here where I put this marker and that's where we want to nest our project and import that other complicated project. So all you really got to do is just drag that .veg file into your project media it'll generate some new audio peaks and things like that based on essentially that project file as a whole. And then insert a video track to put it on, drag it on top, and suddenly you have that whole project as one giant video without having to waste the time and resources to render it out. It'll all render out when you render your final video. And that's kind of the usefulness here, is that you don't have to waste the time waiting on it to render. You can simply import the project file and render it all out at once. And then you can select which portion you want to render and render it there. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but can be very, very useful. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. If you want to see my Vegas Pro 13 to uh, review, Check out the link in the description below. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.